And as soon as we go live, I'm going to go. All right, we are live. Woohoo! We are live on Facebook, on my profile. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, I don't do Facebook Lives very often on my profile, so when I do, you know I'm bringing you somebody who is freaking amazing, and that is no different than this morning, my friend Cindy Ashton with Captivate Cash and CashIn.com. She's a media expert and presenter, and you got to hear her background. Cindy, tell them a little bit about yourself and how you got, where you came from, and what you're doing. <laughs> Yeah, so um, I am, that's a really good question. So <laughs> I am Cindy Ashton. I mean, when I was like super like young, I knew I was going to be a star. <laughs> and so by the time I was 19, I was already working with Broadway directors and performers and learning my craft. And by the time I was 25, I was singing opera with the symphony, went on to musical theater, and now have an award-winning TV show, winning alongside CBS News, CBS Interactive, have interviewed countless, 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 countless celebrities at the Oscars and the Grammys. And alongside that career, I have been teaching you amazing entrepreneurs how to be a star or famous within your industry. And Katrina, you know, with everything from landing media attention to powerful messaging and storytelling and body language and presence and learning how to really connect with influencers to catapult super fast. So today I'm super excited because for all of your people watching, for them to really be able to catapult quickly and work less it's about being more visible and being seen as that a lister that star in their industry so i'm super excited to show people how to do it today yeah oh my god this is why i brought you because so many people i mean your background in musical theater and media is just off the hook i mean you don't find that a lot these days so you gotta learn uh -huh. and um so there's a lot of different things that we want to talk about here and um, gosh, I don't even know where, well, for those of you, just real quick, because some of you might be new to me and like, who the hell are you? Yeah, <laughs> just, you know, all kinds of awesome. I'm Katrina Sawa, and I'm known as the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach. So I help people make more money in your business. I help you systematize, automate, get started, make sure you have the right business models, the right pricing, the right mindset to have the right pricing, and uh, so many other things, write books, get websites going, all the little nitty gritty things that you do in your business, that's what I do. So when I, I don't do a lot of deep dive on media training and stuff like that. Of course, I've done publicity and gotten on TV and it's super amazing when you can get on TV and get some media coverage and boy, does it increase your influence and your credibility and your star status, right? Your celebrity status. So first let's see like, who is this for? Who should be interested in getting media coverage and why? Um, first and foremost, what I really want to say is, it's those of you, first of all, who are doing your business because you want to truly serve and impact the world. Because I have people who look at me and are like, oh, like I turned down a potential client recently because she was so starstruck by all the celebrities I've interviewed. And I was like, that is not our client. My client are the people who aren't looking for fame for the sake of fame. They're people who are looking for fame because they understand that it allows them to get their voice heard on bigger platforms, which means they can serve more people and have a bigger impact in the world. So if you if you're not truly interested in serving humanity and serving your clients, we're probably you should stop watching right now. But if you're that person, then the people who should really want to listen to the next you know 20, 30 minutes are those that are finding they're taking a lot of action, they're working super hard, but they're only seeing mediocre results. Because the truth is, is that when you are visible, when you're getting media attention, um, when you are leveraging influencers in a healthy non-pitchy, truly connected way, when you are able to communicate your message, what happens is, is that people go, wow, who is that? They are, they come to you without you having a prospect so hard. Um, and I really saw in the last year, because Katrina, we could talk about this. I had two major surgeries in the last year, barely did any marketing. I only had two to three good hours a day and that was spent serving my clients and I was still getting clients because I had built such attraction. So imagine for you, um, what would that take to get to the point where you're not having a market so hard because people see you as super credible, super awesome, and are out and visible that they come to you so much easier. So that's who should be listening. You want to impact from an authentic place and you want to work less or make more. <laughs> and, 
And frankly, it is kind of easy to get media coverage these days. It doesn't have to be hard. You just need a few tips on how to really get in front of the right people with the right hook and pitch, right? So is there any kind of tips there you can give them as far as where to even start? Yeah, so that is a really great thing. I mean, the first thing you really need to do is make sure that you are super clear when it comes to media specifically. Um, in your whole business, you should be super clear of what your message is and how you differentiate yourself. But when it comes to getting media, people will often come to me and my business partner, Christina Daves, and say, Cindy, um, I have a new book that I want to promote. And I'm like, a, a media outlet, let's say an NBC, let's say NBC is who you want to be on. They're not going to just promote your book. You have to have what we call a newsworthy story, which means what is, so you have to look at what's really happening in the news. What is popular that's in the news? What is trending? And then think to yourself, what am I doing that comments on what is happening in society? Because here's the truth. People are like, it's so hard to get in the media. It's not. I had my first interview at 13 years old, didn't even try to get it, it came to me. And most of my press just comes to me. But as Katrina said, it's not difficult. If you can figure out what is happening in the world and how you can serve and how your message and your work can can really help others then if you pitch it to journalists they're going to love you because journalists need stories they need people to pitch them they actually want to be pitched but if you pitch them going oh look at my story or look at my new book it's so great they're going to go well what does that have to do with current events so for example covid is the big thing so when covid started I knew as a presentation trainer, uh, you know, a lot of people now are virtual. So guess what? I was pitching the press, <laughs> how to present virtually on camera. Suddenly, how is your speaking voice on camera? How is so you want to always think, what is my topic? What is my message? What's happening in the news? And then once you know that, and how can I help people? Because here's the thing, I have a book, it's going to get mentioned in that article or in that in that news interview and in that TV interview at some point, but you're not pitching the book, you're pitching the solution. And by the way, it'll come up as, you know, Katrina Sawa, author of da 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 da. Awesome. Yeah, it's so true. I mean, and uh, the, so I know that some of the things you like to work on with people are their body language, their camera presence, Share a couple tips around some of those things because that's really important. And a lot of people are nervous because of those things. Right. <laughs> they don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, first of all, here's my belief. I'm kind of like the anti-speaking trainer. <laughs> I don't believe that you need to be perfect and memorized word for word. In fact, I think that disconnects you. I know that that absolutely disconnects you from other human beings, especially in this last year since COVID hit, people are overstressed and they're going to be super sensitive if you are overly slick, overly polished. People want true connection. Does that mean you don't get trained? No, you still need to get training on your presence and your voice and your body language. But I have a lot of people, especially introverts, who say, Cindy, I can't get on camera. I can't do this. I'm too nervous. What am I going to look like? How am I going to come across? And the truth is, is it's not about being perfect. If you can let that go and say it's about trusting your presence that makes all the difference so let's talk about actual tools then so the first thing is is that let's say you're going to do a video and here's the truth is that we are starting to open up here in the US but you know Canada my home country we're still on lockdown in Canada there's still a lot of people that you're doing business with that are in lockdown are still really not able to leave the house especially parts of Europe obviously India right now bless them oh my goodness um, and South America so we're still needing to be virtual. And the truth is, is that when we meet somebody in person, we can feel their energy. We can feel if we like them or not. So when you're doing your marketing, it's important to do marketing videos because people will be scrolling and if they see you on camera, then they can get a sense of who you are. So the first thing you wanna do when crafting your videos is you wanna think about what is that compelling hook to get people to stop scrolling? Because let me tell you, it is scroll nation right now. It is hard to get people stopping. So it really let me is. give you a really, yeah, right? So yeah. Give you an example. 
People Sorry, are not paying attention, you know, so you have to do more than ever. I just wanted to interject because people think they can just post something on social media or send an email and that everybody's watching you and they're not. So you have to post an email. You have to get your uh, post on social media, get your emails out, do direct mail, make some phone calls. You have to get some publicity. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to get in front of so many more people. You have to go live. You have to, well, I mean, it's ridiculous. So Please yeah. don't think you need to do more things to get in front of more people more often and in more ways. And that's what she's talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, am I still here? Yeah, you're on. Okay. Cool. Um, I, I faded for a second. So, yeah, so you want to think about what is that intriguing hook? What is that thing that you can say in that first line of both the video and what you write in your copy that makes people go, what? I'm sorry, what did he or she say? So, for example, I did a video that converted into consultations and a client. And I don't have a huge following, but I'm super influential because my following is strong and they're loyal. So that's another thing you need to know is you don't have to have a, a huge million dollar, a million dollar, a million followers. So for example, this specific video, I started with, if you have a vocal fry, then you are going to lose credibility, influence and sales. And people were like, what the heck is a vocal fry? And I, what's what does my voice sound like? I don't want to lose credibility. And it was a two and a half minute video. So, you know, a really great way. There's many ways to create a hook, but it's like, what is something intriguing that you could say that makes people go, what's a vocal fry? And what is that specific thing that they don't want to lose? What is that specific thing that they want to gain? Because then they're like, okay, I need to watch this video. But then once you have your hook, then what you need to do, while I don't want you word perfect, scripted word for word, because first of all, it's gonna make you nervous, and second, it's gonna be inauthentic, is then you need to map out your talking points and really see them. So that first part is like, if you have a vocal fry, you are going to lose credibility sales, and da da da, and you're like, what the heck is that? Well, let me tell you what it is and how to fix it. So that first part, your bullet points are going to say vocal fry, what the loss is and how you're going to fix it. So you just know those are the three things I'm going to start with, right? So you just start to see those through. Then you go to the second part. And I don't remember what the second part is, but it was like describe what a vocal fry is and give an example. Third part, describe how to fix it. And these are the two tips. Fourth part, here's the call to action to book a consult with me, right? And here's what's really interesting. Like I said, like I was on LinkedIn. I think I've got a few thousand followers on there. So not huge, but bigger than normal. And literally had 13 comments to consultations and landed a client. And, but what it did is it opened up the conversation. So the key for you is to get the hook, figure out your talking points, and, and then what you want to do is improvise on them. And especially if you're a new, not newer speaker, but newer on camera, just get your film yourself and watch yourself back and watch yourself back with love. Really want and just start to riff through it. It's like, oh, because as you riff through it, what's going to happen is as you improvise that three, four, five, ten times, it's going to help you clarify your thoughts. So when you're ready to film, you're going to do your take. Now, here's the truth. Even a seasoned pro, 25 years in the business, there are times when I have to do five or ten takes until I got it. And sometimes I don't get it and I still have to edit. So just so you know, a seasoned pro, an award-winning TV host and producer still needs to do a bunch of takes after rehearsal. So I just want you to know that. So that's from the scripting perspective and how to prepare. Um, Katrina, did you want to interject before I go into body language and all that good stuff? No, you're doing great. I'm like, I couldn't say it any better. I teach just <laughs> this stuff, but you're so much better. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Thanks for the interview well. etiquette, however. See, when you're doing media coverage, you can't just keep talking, 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 because the interviewer, the person that is trying to interviewing you for the media coverage, you need to stop talking so that they can interject. So this is just a quick little tip, right? You can't just go, blah, blah, blah. they'll never bring you back. <laughs> All right. And here's another tip, because Christina, uh, Christina, Katrina, I am like 100% with you. And the key, though, is, is right now I'm giving longer sound clips, but I also know I'm doing long, longer sound clips right now for sound bites because we are in a 20 to 30 minute conversation. Exactly. If I was on television, those spots are a minute to two and a half minutes. Maybe three if you're lucky. Maybe three. I've had a lucky. six minute. I've had, 
<laughs> I've had a couple six minute spots, but that was lucky, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so if I was, I would totally adjust my sound yeah. bites, obviously. So I yeah. think that, so I love what you're saying, so you Katrina. Yeah. In terms of body language, the first thing I always tell people, take five, 10 minutes to ground yourself. That is going to make the biggest difference because whether we like to admit it or not, we all have stress that is held in our body. People are like, I'm not stressed out. I'm like, ha, 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 you're so stressed. Um, even if you're doing like, I do yoga twice a day, I meditate. And despite that, or in addition to that, I still take the time to go. Because what happens is, is on camera, the camera picks up everything. And if you're on camera, and you're like, okay, so today I'm going to talk about this. And I was thinking about this and it's very, very distracting. You see how distracting that is? It's like, so you have to take that time. And so we're going to do a quick little warm up right now. What you want to do is you want to ground your feet and you really want to lift up your heels, spread out your toes, put yourself back down. Um, and then I want you to really ground yourself down and just take a breath in and feel your belly expand and exhale nice and long. And then you're gonna take that breath in, expand your belly. So your feet should be shoulder width apart so you have room in your pelvic floor. When you exhale this time, exhale down into the ground. Imagine the energy going down to the ground. And so you want to do this for a couple of minutes. And the reason why is when you exhale longer than your inhale, you are stimulating the relaxation response. So it focuses your mind, which is going to help you to be able to do your talking points. It stabilizes your body because when you're not getting in your body and getting in your feet and feeling strong in your pelvic floor, which is why we want to breathe down there, what happens is, is you get this little thing, this fidgety nonsense happening. So, you, so even just grounding, the second thing you want to do is as you're grounding, take time to roll your shoulders because a lot of us are hunched over, right? And so you don't want to be on camera going, hi, I'm Cindy, and I'm supposed to be trustworthy right now, right? You want to be able to have good posture. But on the other hand, you don't want to have good posture by trying to sit up straight because then it takes too much chest tension and it makes you sound like you're yelling. So if you take the time to breathe and really roll your shoulders and release all that, it makes a big, big difference. Then the third thing you want to do is you want to do a vocal warm up. So a lot of us have tension in our jaw. And <laughs> what happens is, is that it makes it either sound really aggressive and angry, or the tension in the jaw makes your voice go back, or you sound like you're mumbling or so we are going to do this, Katrina, are you willing to play with me for a second? <laughs> oh, what are you gonna make me do? <laughs> I will do this. If you feel like doing it with me, you can. But I I'll tell do people, it. do this in the bathroom where no one can see you. I do it publicly because I don't give a shit. But <laughs> so you want to open your mouth and your face and close it five times. So it's like open, little, big, little, big, <laughs> little. I'm going to stop making you do it. See, it's hysterical. So my clients are like, she's oh, freaking you. And then I tell them to go, well, the funny thing is, they think they don't think I'm crazy until I tell them to record their speaking voice before we do this little two, three minute warm up. And then I tell them to record it after, and there's a big difference. So, that. what you want to do, and you want to massage and you want to move things around. And then once you've loosened everything up, automatically it makes your voice more naturally open versus trying to be really tight when you're talking and it naturally lets the voice be louder without having to push your voice because yeah. i see a lot of people trying to articulate and they're pushing the voice and causing vocal damage that's awesome that's <laughs> awesome no i hope that that you know how when you do a video and it kind of captures one screenshot and for the frozen part of the video when you yeah. do the replays i hope it's not that part <laughs> like because it might be, and I might have to change it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, that's All really right. Funny. What are um? What are some uh? So I wanted you mentioned something, and I wrote it in our description uh, earlier uh, about TikTok. TikTok is and Instagram too is like video craze right now. But TikTok people are going insane 
I don't go there, but my sister-in-law like always sends us videos from TikTok. People are really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, you had some tips about doing reels versus TikTok and stories yeah. and like so people are getting into that and they wonder like I did a reel and I'm like I didn't realize you couldn't talk and so I'm like well, I'm pointing oh, hang on a reel maybe it was oh, a there story. different types of reels okay it was the insta story so I don't know anyways I don't okay. focus on those because I don't want to do dance videos and workout videos and that's okay kind of thing. so tell people what are the benefits of some of those things and who's that yeah. you are all right so TikTok and Instagram, TikTok is just TikTok, and then Instagram has now Reels because they're trying to catch up with TikTok and it's fame. So the great thing about both TikTok videos and Instagram Reels, they're basically on Instagram 15 seconds or 30 seconds, on TikTok they're up to a minute, although now I think if you're an influencer you can get up to three minutes. Um, it's a lot to keep track of. Yes. Oh my God. I'm, it probably changes all the time. You know, people have been hiring me a lot more in the last year specifically for the on camera stuff. I'm having to be like ahead of them testing stuff out. So I'm yeah. like, I can't stop. Um, I can. Um, but it's like, it's a lot for me because, you know, in responsibility for my own clients. It is. So the interesting thing is that they get hundreds, hundreds more views than a regular post. So if you can master the reels and use the right hashtags, because I'm going to tell you hashtags are everything. I did, um, I'm still playing around on TikTok. I'm, I'm kind of on the bench about it. Um, but I did, a, I used the popular hashtag that was trending. And I last I checked, which was a week ago, my video had 2,700 views. And I'm like brand new on TikTok. And I got like 50 new followers. And I was like, ha, huh, I don't know how. I should probably check my phone to see where I'm at with that. Um, so... It's really interesting because, you know, it's it really if you get it dialed in, it could blow up for you on TikTok. But it's about the right hashtags and you're going to get a lot of stupid hate stuff. I got a bunch of hate stuff on a body analysis thing I did on Biden. And I'm like, it was a, if, if I did the body that I would do the same analysis on a Republican. I wasn't like, <laughs> it's like body language is body language. So, I mean, if you want to do TikTok or the Instagram Reels, the key is, is getting the right hashtags to blow them up. You do not have to dance. Clearly, I can get onto these things and I can everybody dance now. You don't necessarily have to be that. Um, I did a video that was really simple that did really, really well, where I was just literally, I, I found music that was within the app and I literally just, you know, pointed and did a few things and you point and there's like, you know, step one, da da da, step two and step three or step three. And then you have little captions like, and call to action. Like you don't necessarily have to talk. You don't necessarily have to dance. Um, you know, my business partner, Christina Daves, we do a ton of work together. She's awesome she's a PR gal um, she is not the dance person right so I'm happy to get out on TikTok and Instagram reels and dance and do crazy shit because I'm a performer but with her she's just like she does the pointing thing and she's very very conservative with it because that's her personality so you can work with your personality absolutely and you can do talking ones so you could do a really quick 15 second tip with a call to action right yeah Please to the media, find a great hook, news jack, you know, a pitch a journalist and whatever. One free guide, click below. Like I just did a 15 second TikTok right now. <laughs> like yeah. then you just have to add the captions in. I don't ever see the ones for business. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Like I don't feel like people pay attention oh, to business. So okay. Much. I was about to pull some stuff up so you could see it. Do you want me to do that? Um, I don't know. It sounds complicated. <laughs> It's just like it sounds complicated. You can. Um, yeah, like I think I'm just trying to kind of. So here, I'm going to show you one. Over to the. Yeah. Oh, I don't have the sound up. Hold on. That's all right. <laughs> Over to the. There you go. There we go. So you just see. Okay. And again, I'm dancing, but you don't have to dance like that. So ready to get recognized. Three steps. Land media attention, leverage influencers, captivate with your presence, free blueprint. There you go. And, that's, and then you put those words on later, right? 
and then I put it with music. This is how we do words. it. You put the words in there later, right? Yes. So, yeah. so what you do is you choose your music. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, a other, that's like a two hour training for me to treat you, to teach you how to do all the editing. It's a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, um, but what you're it, it took me like half an hour my, on my first video. I know I can get it down within like two, 10 minutes. That's cool. Yeah. So it's yeah. doable, guys. You just might need to be shown how. Like seriously, I I did a quick one, but I was I didn't even want to take the time to figure out how to put the things and the words and stuff, which is very impressive that people do that. And if I had more time, I just don't know if it's going to bring the clients in. Um, so here's here's my advice for everybody watching: market yourself in a way that makes sense to you. Yeah. And I notice what's nuts, what's working and who's responding. So I'm finding as much as I do the short videos and they're fun and I get a lot of views, I don't get a ton of business from those. Yeah. But what I do is I do like sometimes five and seven minute videos, which I tell my clients are too long, but those convert for me. So yeah. you have to kind of test it out. You need to figure out where do I love to play? Like Clubhouse, for example, when Clubhouse came out, everybody was like, Sydney, you have to be on Clubhouse. I don't even listen to podcasts because I, I don't want all that stuff. I'm sure there's great stuff. I know there's great stuff on podcasts. The thought of me having to sit there and listen endlessly for hours on end, I can't do it. It's not. And so the idea of a clubhouse thing where it's an audio app, I, I just know that that's not my way to market. Like, it's just not. I wouldn't even go to virtual networking events because I can't I can't handle that amount of noise. But for me to make like a quick video, super easy for me to market that way. So you have to find the way to market that's right for you and your personality. And there's no right and there's no wrong. It's about you and how you express yourself best. I agree. And I totally, I tell people to pick the order of importance based on the goals you have and, and, the, and the marketing strategies based on your personality, but also your target audiences and where they are. So very cool. Well, I, so smart cookie. God, you're so I smart. know. Well, but you've also been in business like me for like ever. We're like really good looking fossils. It'll be 19 years this summer. I'm so excited. And I can't even imagine like getting another job or doing something different. I'll just put my site on yes. here real quick. And then we're going to talk Please. about where to find more from you. So my website is jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And there's a bunch of free trainings on the free trainings page. So you want to go there. And then I already kind of shared your free stuff. And you also have a an event coming up. But here's your, let me just say. <laughs> I know. Here's your free stuff. Yeah. So upcoming, so, we have a free training coming up. Yeah. Tell us about the free trainings. Yeah. So we're literally going to go into the PRP. So three steps, which are Christina Daves. She's my business partner. It's her step. She's going to go through that. I'm going to teach you how to leverage influencers on social media without pitching them, but by borrowing their audiences in a way that's so authentic and it will blow your social media up super fast. And I'm going to give you like real world examples. We're going to talk about the importance of a brand. So if you're already established, Getting that brand experience, that brand level to the next level is huge. So it's just a really great training to really help you to catapult to do less, but be strategic about it so you can receive more and give more. Yeah. So that's captivatingcashin.com forward slash. That's plus. coming out soon. Yes, it's May 27th, but sign up now. We have yeah. like hundreds of people already signed up. Sign up now people. while you're watching this because you don't want to forget and then miss out because you know how life gets. We get to right. We might watch a couple minutes of this, but you need to go take action right now. Just sign up, put it on your calendar and then keep yep. moving on with your day. Um, awesome. And then you have an event coming up as well. That so It's live though, right? It's live and we have a virtual component and what we're so unbelievably excited about. So the live part is, so it's live and virtual. And in the virtual, we literally hired an, an Emmy winning production team. So people at home will literally be part of the live stream. We're going to be able to bring them onto screen with the live people in person. Right. Um, a lot for the for the in person is almost sold out. It's crazy. I think people are so hungry to be in person. It's pretty yeah. amazing. But it's literally a get shit done event where instead of just teaching you the three steps of how to land media, you're actually writing your media pitches. We're editing them. We have online moderators for the people virtual editing them, um, who are people like award winning journalists. Like we have like real high level people who are monitors who are literally editing your pitches. You're literally, you know, getting through to the journalists. You're literally pitching them at the event. You're literally. 
filming videos at the event. So today I talked a little bit about what you could do. I'm literally going to be walking you through this piece of, okay, let's do our bullet points. Great. Let me check your hooks. Let me check this. Great. Get your camera out. Even for the virtual people, we're going to be putting them in small groups so they can watch each other's video, give each other checklists of what to watch of, you know, body language that doesn't sell versus body language that sells. Like it's going to be amazing. You're literally going to be connecting with influencers right at the event. It is literally a get shit done event. The third day, so it's two days, but the third day is an in-person only for the in-persons only. We're taking them into an Oprah style, an Oprah style studio. And we are doing an Oprah style studio um, interview. We have Oprah's hair and makeup person doing hair and makeup. We have a fashion designer from New York City, you know, helping them pick out what they're gonna wear. We are literally guaranteeing them press spots. This is why it's selling out so quick. <laughs> wow. So we are so excited. Like it's a get, you will not have a to-do list when you leave that event. You would have already done it all. Wow. It's a whole other in August. OMG. <laughs> well, there's plenty of time to plan your travel, but you can't wait around to sign up. It's August 5th, like or 7th live. And um, where is it? I didn't uh, have It's my... in Dallas. So the in person Dallas. is in Dallas. It's at captivatingcashinlive.com. Um, we're just so excited because and Dallas is pretty open right now. So it's pretty Dallas is super open. Yeah. We're still being super careful. Like, yeah. um, we're still going to be masking. I mean, I'm fully vaccinated. Christina's fully vaccinated. Our whole team are, um, but we're still, we're only letting 15 people come, even though the room can fit more. Yeah. And even though Dallas is open because we just, even though things are opening up, we want to be super extra careful with everybody, maybe we're being overly careful, but we, we're gonna have everything in place to make sure that everybody is super safe and all that good stuff. Right. We're just so excited to see people landing attention, media attention and getting out there. Like people are awesome, they deserve it. So there's two level of tickets, I'm sure. So you'll tell people about, it's on the page of yeah. how they can sign up because they can come yeah. And there's a chat box if you want to chat with us, you can book a consultation. We want to talk to Cindy. So get her free trainings, get on her email list and get more information as soon as you can. If you're interested in that, um, definitely go get some free stuff and see how you can get started with some media coverage. I had a piano teacher client a couple of years ago who was teaching piano out of his own home. And I said, oh my, it was towards the holidays. And I'm like, you need to, uh, the local TV stations bring in musicians to play during the holidays. You need to email them and get in there. And I told him what to say in an email. He sent the email to the person. I gave him the info. And boom, he got booked on TV the following week, and he's been booked every year in that same station, plus some additional times they brought him in because he keeps in touch with those producers. So it was. It doesn't matter what kind of business, you guys. Media coverage is amazing. And then you take the clips and you put them on your website, so you repurpose it. So you have to buy the clip. You have to buy the clip. You can't just link over to it because that link could go away. So you buy the clip. It's like 85 bucks usually somewhere in there. It depends on the media coverage. Oh. If it's TV, you buy it and then you own it and you can put it anywhere you want. So you got to utilize that as follow up. Don't just do it and then forget it. You have to utilize yeah. the coverage. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I love that, Katrina, because, you know, when I get new clients who are coming in for a consult and if I know that they're really interested in, you know, being able to convert more sales or the speaking voice body language stuff, I always send them in advance saying, hey, super excited to meet you on Tuesday. Um, here's my article in Inc. Magazine where I talk about the seven voice tactics to close more sales. Yeah. So what do you think people's first impression if they haven't already Googled me? What is their first impression of, the, of me now? Right. She was an Inc. magazine. She must be really good at what she does. And they're getting to see my knowledge base and my approach and seeing how I can help them to close more sales. So it's it's something that you get that and you could repurpose it over and over and over. I'm going to share another little tip, too. There's, oh, there's these, in case you're figuring out like. Well, when's a good month to get picked? When should I approach the media? And I'll tell you, I was on uh, I was on this show, um, Sacramento and Company, uh, four times. The first time I was there, I was talking, I think, in general about how to jumpstart your business and grow a business. And then they saw that I had a book called Love Yourself Successful. So then I brought was brought back to talk about uh, – uh, the book, Love Yourself Successful, some tips on that and how it helps entrepreneurs, etc. And I had mentioned on that show, that second one, 
about my date online dating experience and they were <laughs> laughing. And as I was walking out, the producer's like, we have to bring you back to share more about online dating. And I said, of course you do. And so then they brought me back about online dating. Hello, I'm a business coach. I'm not an online dating and relationship coach, but yeah. you don't say no to the media. I say, okay. So then I came back and I gave some tips on online dating, right? And then I, I came back again talking about speaking, how to be a speaker in your business because I had a speaker event coming up, but I tied it in, you know, so it, but there's a really cool calendar. Like some people just have no idea what where to start. And yeah. I like the holiday insights calendar. There's some wacky holiday calendars out there. Um, here, I'll put it um, in the, I'll put it in the thing, holidayinsights.com. It's just a place you could go and it tells you like, well, you know, July 19th is, um, yeah. uh, you know, piano lesson day. So my piano lesson yeah. guy might go and say, hey, there's this is a holiday and we need to talk about piano lessons or something. It's just crazy how many different wacky holidays there are and people create and you can create your yeah, own. And you can totally leverage it. And yeah, and, and for people who are coming to Captivating Cash and Live, we give you content calendars for this year and next year, as well as if you're pitching magazines, because you got to think about two seasons ahead for magazines. We, so in addition to that amazing resource in our in our live course with the virtual option, we give you two years worth of content calendars and topics. To awesome. <laughs> and you need it for your own because you can spend a lot of time trying to figure out when to do something. But I was just kind of showing that because. No, I think it's brilliant. Random. I'm going to write that and one down. I haven't seen that one. Well, because the time I went in for the online dating, it was like relationship month or something. It was like something about. So they brought me in because it was the it was relationship August is something to do with love and relationship month or something like that. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> anyways. All right, so you guys are going to get her free stuff. You're going to go to her event, perhaps. You're going to come get my free stuff, and you're going to grow your business. Rocks. You're going to grow your business. So um, thanks for being here, Cindy. And Thank you for having me, Katrina. Thanks for, yeah. having for watching. It was so much fun, uh, and we'll just keep sharing this out, and um, we'll bring you another amazing person, I'm sure, in a month or two. Who knows? I've been meeting lots of fun people. I just haven't had time to showcase them all. <laughs> So have a wonderful spring and summer, everyone, and we will talk to you soon. I'm getting there.